Hello everyone, I am so happy to see you. According to YouTube Analytics, over 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you guys want Pugsley to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Enjoy the video guys, love you forever and always. Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a NAR guide last minute for season 11. There's about two weeks left in the season and I just want to show you guys some tips and tricks and what to do in certain situations. First I'll be going over what abilities to max first for beginners, what items to go, what runes to go, etc. So here we go. So for ability order, uh, this is what I go exactly. I go Q level 1, E level 2, W, and then I max Q, and then I think it goes like... You obviously do R whenever you can, but you max Q, then you do W, and then E last. Um, hopefully you got that. Okay, for runes, uh, let me see here. Where is it right here? Okay, so these are my runes right here. I go Grasp and Domination uh, usually. Whenever, you know, your lane is just unplayable, you can sometimes go Fleet Footwork. But these are your main runes. I recommend you go these most of your games. Um, you can experiment with some other runes if you want, but go these if you're just starting to play NAR. Next is items. So here I'm going to be showing you most of the items NAR goes. So for your start, you always want to go uh, Dorn's Blade or D-Shield. Go D-Blade if you're lane, you can poke them out pretty well. Uh, D-Shield, go this if you're getting poked out. So basically... That's what you go and also for runes uh, if you're getting poked out go second wind i think instead of bone plating uh, if you poke them out go pretty well for all ins go bone plating um on your first back i like to grab refill potion and control ward sometimes uh this can be your second and third back as well if you don't have enough gold but uh that, that's if you have extra gold for your first back you want to grab your core item which is divine sundra um, I recommend going this mythic because it's just way much better than the other bruiser mythics that is offered for top laners. So, Divine, uh, for your first back, you want to grab health. I rec uh, You can grab Sheen and like uh, Ruby Crystal, but I usually go play it safe and buy uh, a Phage. Um, but you always want to build this item first, almost in all cases. Also, you want to grab your boots. Uh, you usually go plated steel caps or mercury treads, just whatever is best for the game. And for Sterox Gauge, you will build this item probably like second 50% of the time. It just depends. Um, this is a very good item for NAR because of its passive. Uh, it's very good for team fighting. Uh, Black Cleaver, you go this item uh, uh, combined with Divine whenever there's a lot of tanks on the team, like two to three tanks. Let's say there is, I don't know, a Scion top lane and in the jungle there's a Sejuani and as support there's a Leona. This combo would be very good for shredding armor. Okay, now here are the armor options. Oh, AFK warning. Here are the armor options, play still caps of course. Grand Duin's Omen. Um, this item is very good against ADCs and crit top laners like Trindamir. I definitely rush this item second if they have like a, a Yone in the mid lane. Um, maybe a crit dealer like MF or Caitlyn or Jin in the bot lane. And sometimes even in top lane there's a graves or in the jungle there's a graves that deals crit so this item is very good on NAR it's pretty cheap as well so I recommend getting this for those cases for Thornmail this is uh, his best uh, what is it called grievous wounds item I recommend going this in the top lane if it just you just need it for top lane definitely against Irelia I perma ban Irelia I recommend you do that but if you don't this is a great item against her. Um, just anyone that does a lot of healing, Aatrox, Graves. I'm just trying to think. Uh, it's also good against ADCs. Um, yeah, this is just a very good item for 
Greed of Spoons, if your team's not building it, you could build it. Next is Dead Man's Play. Um, this item used to be good, but they nerfed it, they gutted it a lot. Um, if you still feel comfortable building it, you can. It's It used to be good for catching up in team fights, like... It just gives you so much movement speed and damage, but I remember this having like, I think like 450 health at one point, and even, I don't know, just, I think they nerfed the damage, I, I, I forgot about this item, so if you still want to build this item, you can, I recommend you not though, um, Guardian Angel, this is great for coming back to life, um, very good late game, if you have 5 items and you do not have to build, this is a pretty good item to build. Yeah, I mean, it's a stopwatch item. All stopwatch items are pretty much broken, so go for it. It could clutch uh, a game at the end. You never know. Next is MR options. Mercury Treads, of course. Uh, Witsin. Witsin is probably NAR's best MR item, even though it got nerfed in the early game. This item is just so good. It gives you attack speed, MR, and even more damage, which is everything that NAR needs besides health, but you build health with Divine anyways. So if there's like two to four AP dealers on the enemy team, honestly, I would rush this as your second, third, or fourth item just whenever you need it. Witsin, just, it's just so good and it scales into the late game. So no reason not to pick this item up. Next is Spirit Visage. Um, I like to combine this item with uh, Sterox Gauge, especially when there's a lot of uh, AP dealers on the enemy team. Also, whenever I have, for example, a Yumi, a Lulu, an Ivern, um, this item is very good. It increases all shields and healing, so you get a lot of value out of it. Um, you probably won't build it a lot because that's a lot of uh, situations where it probably won't happen but in situations where it does happen when there's AP on the enemy team and you have uh, supports on your team that will actually shield or heal you this is an excellent item for NAR. Lastly for MR options force of nature this item used to not be as good it's okay now I go this if I'm desperate if I need more MR they're just the enemy team has so much AP dealers um, I don't really like it though. I prefer these two items, but if you need more MR, just go this item. Now on to situational items. I will go over these quickly. Um, Gargoyles, uh, Stone Plate. I go this whenever the enemy team split and AP dealers, AD dealers. Go this item for that. It also gives you a very big shield, which is cool. Um, Anathema's Chains. This is good whenever there's a carry on the enemy team. Let's say there's a Samira that's 20 and 2. Put this on her, that's what I would do. So if there's a, uh, a carry on the enemy team, buy this. Kim Punk Chainsword, so I only buy this whenever there's AP dealers and Thorn Metal just is not worth the build and you need healing reduction, so build that. In that case, Serpent Sting, very rare. You'll build this in less than two, 1% of your games. Just whenever there's a lot of shielding on the team, let's say there's a, a Lulu, an Ivern, a Yone, uh, a Riven, build this. Um, Death Stance, oh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back everyone. Like I was saying, uh, Death Stance, um, I build this whenever the enemy team messes up their draft and they're like four or five AD dealers, I would build this because it just gives a lot of val value with the healing on takedowns. Um, Silver Mirror, I rarely build this item. Uh, I mostly just build QSS if like there's a Malzahar or something that keeps on targeting you with their old or a Mordekaiser. Um, just build this whenever there's a lot of CC on the team. Ma, this is very rare. This item, not very good anymore, but uh, Starak's gauge is just so much better in so many ways. But if, I mean, their entire team's AP, why not build it? You'll get value out of it. And lastly, Boots of Swift, uh, Swiftness. I build this mainly against people I can kite and that try to slow me down, like Nasus, for example. Boots of Swiftness are excellent against him. He can barely catch you. So go this item against maybe you don't have to go against uh, you don't have to build it against a melee people but if you feel like you need to just build it if you want to. Lastly Snowball you will probably not be building this unless like you are absolutely caring but top laners like you like you probably only build this when you have 15 20 kills like at 25 minutes. So if you're expecting to have a game like that, then why not? 
um i only build this when i feel like i have to carry you'll build if you're trying to climb do not build this but uh you can experiment with this in normals games and yeah uh basically rage blade runons and titanic hydra give a lot of on hit effects and you can 1v9 games with it but uh if you're looking to climb stick with the mr options armor options and core and situational do not go for this um, it's just mainly for me to have fun. So yeah, let's get on to some combos that Nara can use. Okay everyone, so basically I'm going to be showing you some combos that Nara can use. Um, the first one I, I like to teach new people is basically just the basic Mega Nara combo. So it's not even animation cancels, we'll get that into a minute. Um, basically you just E once you're on them R and what I like to do especially if you're if, you, if it's just one enemy you W auto Q auto that gives you the most damage here let me spawn one enemy da uh, dummy so I, so I can just show you um, let me refresh my rage so basically you want to weave in autos in between your combo so I'll show you that now all out all at once once i go in i'm not going to animation cancel or anything like that so we're going to go in r auto w auto q auto so that's going to give you so much damage in total um if you weave in those auto those autos matter they can win you a fight so many times like before i did my platinum series like i i did weave in autos but i was not as good at it if you practice that you're gonna get so much more damage in fights. So let's go on to some mini NAR things. So obviously you can jump over walls like this. Let me auto refresh, pull down. Um, his E is his most important ability in a mini by far because it's on like a 20 second cooldown level one. So you have to you have to use it so carefully even on the offense. But uh, some combos I like to do with the E is uh, just EQ. You get an easy W proc like that. Um, for Mega Nar, let's talk about animation canceling. So it's very precise, but basically you just saw me do it there. You have to press R pr like as soon as you hit E. So let me show you again. It's you have to practice this and practice tool a lot to master it. I sometimes even fail like in my uh, Highlights you see me jump in and then I don't R. That's me trying to animation cancel ulti um, But basically as soon as you jump you have to hit R you can also do this with W. Let me see if I can get a kill Yeah, so right after you eat you want to hit R as soon as you can and then you'll animation cancel This can be so clutch in late game situations or even early game like they won't expect it at all um, it's a very flashy move, but very, very good thing to uh, learn on NAR. I recommend you do that after you learn all the beginner stuff. So yeah, um, a, a few more things I would like you guys to learn is how to kite more efficiently, which you can just do that normally in some normal games. Um, you'll get better over time, but yeah, I mean, that is basically it. I'll show you the animation cancel with W really quickly. So it basically looks like that. It can be very clutch sometimes. I in my uh, one video, I I don't forgot which one it was. I think it's in my Road to Platinum series. I got a three man W by doing that, and it really clutched out the game early. So uh, I recommend you guys learn the animation cancels and stuff. Let's go on to game knowledge and macro, and that should be it for the video. So basically, for this part of the video, I'm be showing you. Uh, what I recommend to do for the entire game, uh, macro, knowledge, and how to end out games. So basically, I'm just going to be explaining it to you while I'm here on the Rift. So early game, Nar is pretty weak, like one of the weakest champions until like level 6 to 11. Because during level 6 to 11, he gets his ult, he gets a lot of range. And uh, he has his Q and W max by that time, I think. So he's pretty, pretty weak, levels one through five. So if you're in a hard matchup, just farm, play safe. Uh, you're probably going to have to get pushed into your tower a lot of time. 
if you leash you're definitely probably gonna be pushed into your tower probably gonna be playing weak side a lot which is common in NAR uh, one important thing in NAR is that early game he does get dove a lot under his own tower so you have to be very careful of that if you get put to low HP early you have to be careful of that so your main thing to do is to survive until the mid game mid game is where NAR is the most oppressive it's where he can start to go to rift tail fights uh, dragon fights it's just his R is so oppressive in those moments and can really win the team fight with just one ultimate so in the mid game uh, this is where you look to dominate the game um, you win most game, uh, games on R in the mid to late game, so once you get to the late game, your main focus is to always have your teleport ready just in case you need to join a team fight. Let's say um, dragon spawning in 30 seconds um, and your top lane, your ADC supports and jungles mid lane and your mid laner is bot lane, um, you're, you're going to be the one with teleport, so you have to be matching uh, on the opposite side of the map so you can get surprise flanks with TPs um, uh, another thing that I recommend is to uh, watch pro games of NAR that I did that while on my road to platinum and that helped me so much it helped me climb so much faster I learned so much more about macro I mean there's a million things with macro like I said like with the teleport and the dragon thing on the opposite side of the map there's gonna be a million more things with macro so it's just really what's gonna happen in that situation I recommend watching pro games so uh, yeah I if you guys have any questions in the comments below please ask me I think I got most of the important things um, there are always little minor details I didn't get, but if you have uh, questions about anything, uh, ask me. Um, I am Platinum 4 right now, so if you're a rank below me, you can always ask me questions. Uh, if you're Diamond above, I recommend uh, checking the links below. I think I'll put them in the comments and the description. Those are NAR guides for Diamond Plus players. So if you're looking to climb beyond Diamond, go check those guys out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching and love you forever and always. When tonight the whole city is covered white, life is boring.